So with Fazang and you have the netbook, have you uh, have you had an, uh, an opportunity to take it on site or take it home with you? I do. I use it from the house quite a bit, and uh, yeah, it's nice. It's just like like last night. I took a call, you know, after about eight o'clock or so, and we finished it up about nine thirty, only to have to return in the morning first thing. And so what was nice is, is I already had it all, all that information in the computer. So when I came in this morning, all I had to do was print it off. We were ready to go. Nice. So, not, you know, before, because I, I, I take a lot of calls after hours, after five, and uh, I carry a notebook around, you know, you know, a real, you know, the old style notebook with pages and lines and got to use a pen. Sure. And, um, you know, so I come in with a wad of paper, and I have to have to enter all that in at seven o'clock in the morning. Before, and the guys are over here chomping at the bit, ready to go get out the door. And here I've got to enter all this stuff. And so it's nice to to be able to just stay on top of it as I go when it come, when it comes in in the evenings. So that's good. Not to mention, I'm building a database here that I'll have access to also. Now, is that has that helped you get the guys out on the road faster in the morning? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. So you, you probably save some time with, with payroll to get them out, in the, out the door. Oh yeah, we we spend a, the, at least the first hour and a half uh, in the morning just getting getting everybody lined up, you know, get them getting the vehicles gassed up and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, if they got and, and then on top of that, if they got to wait for me to enter calls in that came in from the night before. And it just holds them up that much longer, and it's yeah. not good. So, now, um, do you do you print out mapping directions, or do you do the Google Map integration side of the thing? Well, well, I do, and, and and that's something that you know I, I I like. There's like right here, I can I can pop this one up here, and this is it here. So, basically, from the shop to. Uh, to where we're going, and, and what what's is nice here, it, it just helps us have have a little bit of better directions because people, I, I don't know what it is nowadays. You ask people what a mate, you know, about major cross streets, and as you can see here, major cross streets here would be Ramon and El Cielo, but they'll they'll say, oh well, it's Ramon and El Placer or something like this. Well, that's not major. Mm -hmm. This is major. Sure. <laughs> so you want to know where. You know where you guys are. What they, they they need to know what area they have to get to. They need the major con uh, major cross streets, and so it's nice to be able to pull that information up. And sometimes they're you know they're, a lot of the guys don't have um, they don't have GPS in the truck, so they they're using a Thompson guide. You know that's all wrinkled and crinkled, and quite often it's that particular page uh, that they need is missing. You know, so we hear that a lot. <laughs> sure, so so it, this makes it it makes it really nice. Nice makes it real helpful to find. And not to mention, uh, of course, I can't really I can't give you a really great example. Oops, because I don't have a lot of calls lined up right now. Most of them, see, if they're finished like this, then they don't they don't show up on the map. Mm -hmm. But what's nice is is when I've got a lot of calls set down here, it gives me the ability to kind of decide which ones. We're going to first, or who's going to go? What's their next call? That kind of stuff. I can kind of, kind of keep them all in one area instead of running from one end of the valley to the next. It's kind of nice. And when you have the ability to to pull that up, it makes it really nice. Which I haven't. I, I never had in ten years. We've never had that ability, other than having a big map on the wall, and then trying to maintain that too and answer the phones. It's kind of hard. <laughs> So did you did you throw that big map away, or are you still using it? No, it's there. It's it's more like a decoration, though. All right. Well, we can send you some darts. We can turn that into a dartboard if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is there anything else here that uh, you know you see as a benefit in using Vizing? Um. Well, you know, I mean, there there are a few things. There there's a lot of little features. This is one of them here. This is unscheduled stuff, things that we're waiting for maybe customers to call us back on, and it's just is a it's nice to have them here because then I, you know, I don't have to leave a, a note, a sticky note somewhere to remind me to call these people 
but I can just kind of take a peek at these uh, every so often and just uh, see where we are with uh, with these calls if we're waiting for parts or we're waiting for a customer to, to, to come back into town or something like that so that's a handy little feature uh, you know I can modify this whole board any way I want I can create you know different combinations of teams install teams and stuff if I have to you know I've got the ability to change the you know the view right just like that you know so we call we call that uh we call that pickless you back back there the uh, the make more money queue. We work we work with a lot of HVAC companies who uh, have planned maintenance or jobs in the future that they just uh, they they forget about and uh, customers call them up and you know so has that had an has that have uh, had an impact on uh, on your bottom line since you've been using Vizing? Oh, I th I think so. Okay, I think so. Uh, you know, just being able to search things because I, uh, you know, I think you saw one of the calls that I closed out uh, uh, was uh, I, I left the substatus as uh, uh, estimate given. And so if I want, I can do, see, I can search by that and see these are all right here. There's 104 of them in here of uh, calls that we've been on where we've left estimates. Okay. So it's kind of cool you can follow up on all these things. Now, do you do you follow up on your estimates now? We do. We we do not like we should, but we do. And when it, especially when it gets this time of year, it's so busy, it, it can be very difficult sometimes, you know. Uh, but uh, as things start to slope down, we go back through these lists. Uh, it used to be we'd have to you know go back through those you know two or three thousand invoices. Now I. I know there's only 104 that I'm looking for, and they're all right here. I can just pull them up and print them off if I need to, and uh, go from there. Do you cool. find Do you find that it's easier with Vizing to to close more deals? Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, is, do you have absolutely. Do you have a process in place now that you you follow with with this estimate uh, feature? Well, n not right now because it's so new. Our old way of doing things was to just go back through invoices, start at the A's and work our way to Z. Uh, right now, because we're in that busy time of year, I'm uh, probably not going to do uh, much following up unless they're really hard, hard calls. And the guys know that themselves. The guy, you know, our service techs who go out, they know those calls. But what will happen come uh, August and September is we will go back through all these and I'll, I'll organize them according to who gave the estimate, who took the estimate, that sort of thing. And then uh, we'll call these people up and see, see what they want to do. All right, good deal.